international campuses for continuing education and training will be fully operational by the second half of this year. They will be able to train some 50,000 workers a year. The $300 million campuses are in Payaleba and Jurong. That's right, Steve. The one in Payaleba offers facilities like a lecture theatre that can seat 300 people, event halls for master classes and job fairs and training rooms that are equipped with advanced teaching technologies. Well, the campus is also known as the Lifelong Learning Institute. It currently houses a dozen tenants offering various skills, upgrading programs for adults in industries from information technology to early childhood care. Uh, some of the key benefits are that uh, we have a number of walk-ins that come in because it's a WDA campus and they, we have a child care center as well as a training institute here which then facilitates in order to uh, provide the right amount of training that is required for early child care teachers. There are a lot of good shared facility that enable us to use when we have that needs. You know, as a training provider, we can't essentially put up infrastructure to, to, the, um, to the maximum level. For example, a big theatre hall like that, we can't afford it ourselves and we use it occasionally. It's really to want to create a focal point for our training community to come together, to build a community that can actually share resources, work together with one another, to really raise our C the quality of our CET up to a different level. Um, we, have also, uh, in we have also developed some uh, facility for them to really try out new ideas, uh, allow them to innovate on how we can deliver training. Students